Six months ago before the winter, I patched this chimney up and I put a chimney cap on top. I'm going to show you how I did it and if it wasn't so close to the winter I might have rebuilt it, but I figured we'd wait till the spring. I'm also going to talk at the end of the video about chimneys in general and the way I look at them. So here we go. This is uh, busted up. It's cracked. Uh, there's a lot of reasons they crack anymore. So I shoved down I don't know if you could see that. Shove the light down there. You see the light down there? I'm moving it up and down. And there's a little bit of blockage. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I want to unblock that first. I made myself a little chain. Like that. See that chain? I bundled it all up. I'm going to put it down there and try to break it loose. Yeah, this side of the chimney is okay. It's just over here where it froze up and swelled up. So I'm just going to patch it up. Out of here. Yep. That one's good. This one's loose. All the loose stuff away. There's the flu. See this uh this siding rots away. This siding rots away. So let me get all this stuff out of here. I want to make a point. See the flue inside? I don't know if you could see it that well. I guess so. But that's wearing away too. Anything you do like this is only good. It's only good for so long and then you got to do it over one way or the other. All my jobs, sprayer's easier. I want to wet it. I want all that stuff to stick. I'm going to wet it first. Let that good go mix my rapid set up and put it in. Now in the real world, I don't want to make a mess with a trawl, so I'm using my hand. Just like that. Put my thing on and put it back. Put my rapid set and I shove it in there along the sides. Make sure don't have any holes. And it continues. See, some things you can't do with a trawl. So you gotta get realistic. Back in there. The real world, I call it. Now, this stuff dries fast. I work fast with it. So I got it looking all good. Going over the spots here. Let's see if there's any, anything serious. See this flashing? It rots away. Flashing rots away. Everything's only got so long. Maybe 20, 30 years. Same thing, I wet it down. Just rub some cement all in it. He's going to paint it. That's it. The sponge and rub it in. here. Same thing, make sure I get everything cleaned up. That's it. So I got it all patched up. All right, I'm gonna put this down again. 
Make sure yeah, everything is nailed in. Yeah, you had some leaks up here. So. Well, I'm going to have a look at it, but I want to make sure that she does this roof first and see. Yeah. I think if they'll do it. Hey. Yeah. They say that you're so when you're putting tar on, uh, you got to do what you got to do. some holes. When you're done with that, just get a little paintbrush. Smooth it out a little bit. That's what I do. See that? Little paintbrush like that. Something you're gonna throw away. Smooth it all out. Gotta do it every year. Check your roof every year. We're gonna put this chimney cap right here on the top of this chimney. And this was the box right here. Chimney came cap came into. See, we hit a nine by nine float. So that was it. Now we put chimney caps on. Usually the flu. This is a terracotta flu. It kind of sticks up, and basically. And the cap goes right over it and these screws go right up in there against the flu but what I do as a mason now let's just say that you don't have enough well then you got to get a little L channel you got to drill down inside the concrete and come up with the L channel to hold that on but that's not what's going on here but what do I do when I got to do this well first I just go around Make everything even and just snug it up so you know where it's at because we don't want to put a lot of pressure on them. Then take it off some of the cement. And if you could see over here, I'm putting it around the sides right there. See that? can see it better so I just put her a little dab all around the four sides because I want that to be a little bit more secure right on top of it just like that see that cement in there that's kind of gonna hold that a little better and I just tighten them up a bit that's it just keep going around so you get them snug get your screwdriver not too tight. Everyone's got to be snug. That cement's going to help to hold that in there. That's it. Not too tight. Not too tight. And just get the cement around the bottom so she don't wiggle. And you should be good. See that? Get around the bottom so she don't wiggle out of there. That binds that up pretty good. The chimney's finished. The owner came and he painted it all up and it's good enough, but we'll check it next year. Let me talk about chimneys. Here's an old chimney block. That's what they are. They're just a chimney block. You put them down and then you put your flue inside them as you go. Now I did that job over a year ago, but this is man-made material and anything that's man-made is only good for so long. So a traditional way I would fix a chimney, which will be on my next videos, you put your cement down, you put your blocks on top, you put your flue in because most inspectors want to see a space around the flue. Then you put your cap on, then at the very end you, make, you cut your piece to fit and you put your last flue piece in and you cement around it. 
I said this before, but masonry chimneys are basically over with because the new furnaces, the gas furnaces, actually throw moisture up into the air. Now, they want you to put this in and have sometimes an inch around it. I agree with that and I don't agree with it, but it's almost impossible to lay the block and have that perfect because all these flues are warped and they're different and it's hard to lay the block and move it around and make it level when you have cement around the flue. So the tradition is to just kind of drop it in on top of each other and then the cement that goes around the side will kind of lock it in. Well, now we're going to look at a masonry chimney built like this. What happens to them after a while and why they're going to metal? I was driving by this house. I couldn't help to take a little video of it, but here's what happens with a chimney with a gas furnace if you don't put a metal insert in it. So if someone asks me to build a masonry chimney anymore, I won't do it. I'll fix some for some friends if it's a cap or something. And what was wrong with that chimney that I fixed? I'm not really sure. It could have been the roof. It could be spreading and it broke the chimney in a piece. Could, ice could have got up in there and busted apart. I don't know. We looked at it. It's almost a year now and there's nothing wrong with it. So he keeps using it. He burns coal. But if you have a gas chimney, it's so efficient, the only thing's going up is moisture and busting those chimneys apart. So everybody's going to metal and they're going to power vents where you're not getting that moisture up there. I was over in Wales and England in one of my videos, uh, Conway Castle, and you're, I looked around at all the roofs over there and they're all going to metal chimneys too. Masonry is over with. Now I went in the castle, I was looking at them old fireplaces and they've been there for 700 years because they're using God-made materials, which is real stone. And they lay it flat all the way around. They build their chimneys. And it's big enough to get down in there. And every spring and summer, check it all out and clean it out. There's no flues. All that man-made stuff they're using today is stuff that's only going to fall apart. So all my videos are food for thought. It's, I give you all the arguments and you make up your own decision because masonry is not black or white. There's a lot of variation to it and there's a lot of factors involved in it. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, the next video with the chimneys, I'm actually gonna be using those blocks to uh, fix one. So uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock and that's it for this video.